-huh. But uh, they'll be able to see this. This is a reality show called Riding with Lily. Oh, yeah? I've been interviewing you guys. Wait, oh, is that so? Yeah, there you go. Oh, my God, that's so cool. Do I have permission to use your story on yeah, my chair? Yeah. Awesome. Is that cool? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Hey, Cameron. Thank you so much. Good. Good to see y'all. Nice to see you too. Thanks. How are you? Good. Where are you guys visiting from? Buffalo, New York. Good to have you here. Thanks. Thank you. Is your door not shut, Cam? The light's still on. No, nope, that's on for security. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'll have the lights on. Okay. Oh, okay. Nothing against you, just uh, like you never know who you're picking up. Oh, yes, totally. You never know. It was like a thing like when you're a kid and your mom makes you feel like that's what she told you, but like that was illegal. Like every mom told you that it was illegal to have the light on, so you felt like such a baddie having it on. And you know it's not, right? Yeah, I guess so. Absolutely. Yeah. It's just absolutely now, so. not illegal. <laughs> what is illegal that most people don't know is riding with your hazards on in the rain. Really? That Why? is absolutely illegal in most every state. Why? Because your lights are turning off. And then turning on, oh, I guess. turning off fair. and turning on. Yeah. You need your lights to be on all the time. Fair. Yeah, I don't know. You can look it up. That. Tennessee and Georgia, I know it's illegal. You can get a ticket for that. Uh, you know, I, I guess if the State Patrol that. wants to get wet, right. you know, pull you over and exactly. get out in the rain. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, that's illegal. But this is not, so it's kind of a... I don't know how much snow you guys get down here, but rain is the least of our worries in, that, in uh, Buffalo. Yeah, we know about you. We had a pretty good snowfall this year. We had 10 inches in one week. Yeah, that's. we were just hearing about that um, yeah. minutes ago. I was in I was in Knoxville visiting a friend okay. when you guys got some snow and, like, the whole city shut down. And it was just, like, a dusting, you know, but, like... You guys aren't used to snow, so of course you're going to shut no, down. No, there's, there's, there's where I'm going to correct you again. There was more that came. Politely, that's frozen precipitation. Nobody drives on ice. Yeah. Snow, it's crunchy. We drive on snow, but that snow turns into ice here. And once you get out on the road, we don't have the equipment to no get salt. it. There's no yeah. salting. You're skating. You're doing this right. the entire time, yeah. and we're hilly. Well, it was scary. How would you like to be going down this hill at 40 miles an hour and hit, hit ice? I would not. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna flip. You're gonna use it. That's why the town shuts down. It's not because we're idiots and don't know how to drive. It's because we don't have the gear that you guys have that yeah. warrants that kind of accumulation. And if that precipitation turns to frozen ice at night, so bad news. It, yeah, I, I'm not trying to be rude. I just want to always oh, try to try to educate right. the people at North. These guys down here, they shut everything down. Well, look at this hill here. <laughs> You, you could just be trying to go up this hill. No, I respect it. And it's like, zzz, zzz, zzz. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're not going anywhere on ice. Right. Yeah. But when I had a flight, we were trying to get fly out back to Buffalo that morning. I was like, oh shit, there, you know, no. From no, East Tennessee? From Knoxville? Knoxville. Wow. We were like, no, Uber drivers are coming. And yeah. finally this, like we, so many people kept canceling because they were like, I'm not going to drive in the snow, icy snow. So then finally this one guy picked us up and thankfully it wasn't very icy, at the time, you know, yes. to the airport because it was early morning, you, got like, there. you know, 6 a.m., maybe 5.30. Um, we were like, thank God one brave soldier was willing to drive out and grab us. Tell me, what, what kind of work do you guys do? I'm a nurse. I'm in sales. Well, good for you. Thank you for serving. Oh, my gosh. Thank nurse. you for selling whatever you sell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't leave you out. I'm not in her I leave you out, man. <laughs> what do you sell? Uh, software to small businesses. Software. Oh. Proprietary stuff, you know, custom it's, that, uh, it's a business management software. So is it customized for each client, or is it yep. just one size fits all? No, no. Customize each client. Okay. Help yeah. small business owners, so that's the part I like about it. If you're going to give me advice on business. selling, what's your number one tip for selling? Um, It's unique to everyone's situation. It's You're not in it for a quick sale. If you can help somebody solve a problem, awesome. If not, then it's, you know, no no push, no no harm, no foul. Just honesty and integrity. Right. Yes. Hey, I've got a solution for your problem. Yeah. That's why people buy. Yep. Yeah, 100%. Exactly. Now, what type of nursing do you practice? I do NICU nurse, so neonatal ICU. Wow, that's got to be it's rewarding awesome. and heartbreaking. It is. Yeah. I do feel like, like for the most part, I always reassure people, like, oh, it's not really that sad because most babies like do great and they go home. And, right. But I do feel like lately, you know. Sometimes our babies get do really get sick and don't make it, which is kind of sad. Mm. But they've been. Plus, you got worried parents. 
Yeah. Well, the thing I tell her is I, I, she sees a lot of crazy stuff and a lot of really sick babies. The, the part that would tick me off is the shitbag parents, the, the ones that yeah. pop out a baby addicted to drugs and, and this. Yeah. And that. There's a ghost. That's, that's, I, that's what would bother me. I hadn't thought about that, but yeah, that's gotta be. It is hard to see like the baby, like withdrawing from drugs and having to uh. give them morphine and all that stuff, you know, to like wean them off, which is hard. But, um. I How do you like decompress I, from that? What do well, you do to decompress? I do honestly just feel like maybe because I've seen it a lot, like in my family and friends, not like my immediate family, but right. family addiction exists. And I feel like I do have a lot of like compassion and empathy for them. So I don't feel like I bring that home with me. Um, but I guess I think you just like have to do brief. Like you just have to like talk to your other work friends and like be like, listen, this was, this sucked. Like, let's talk about it, and then we'll talk a lot about it, and then get over it. You know what I mean? What about you, Mr. Salesman? What do you do to decompress? <laughs> whiskey and cigars. There you go. <laughs> I'm just getting into whiskey. You're now. in the right town, then, uh, aren't you? I was always a, a tequila drinker. I'm just now getting into the whiskey, so. Yeah, whiskey and cigars. Yeah. Looking like a 40-year-old man. <laughs> hey, you guys are young. Now, you guys dating, married? What's the story? We're dating. Dating? Okay, how long? Five years. Five years, awesome. So we met in college. Yeah. Yep. The both of our parents are itching for grandbabies and a, a, a marriage, but we're on the same page. Yeah. We're not. Do you guys live together already, yeah, or we just do. Date, date? We've been okay. together for what, like three years. Three years now. Yeah. Well, that's nice. That's yeah. good. Good for you. We're taking it slow. I mean, like we. There's no rush. Like. I don't know. There's. I mean, of course, like, marriage and babies are amazing, and we look forward to that. But we're just trying to establish careers and travel yeah. as much as we can. You're still young. 25, 25, you know. I didn't have my first kid until I was 33. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, you... you He's get, 28 now. You get both sides. Like, have your kids young where, you, where it's fun and, like, you're not tired and annoyed where, it's like, other people are like, well, wait till you're established and live your life first. So, that is one of those... There's no perfect time ever to have kids, but uh, we're, we're not in a hurry necessarily. All right, who fell in love with who first? She <laughs> found, she, she fell in love with me. No way. She, she fell in love with me. I love asking that question. I'm his first girlfriend. Yeah. You so, what? I'm his first girlfriend. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The one and only. I mean girlfriend, not woman in his life. Yeah. His first committed girlfriend. <laughs> they call me the fireman. That's my name, right? <laughs> you were the fireman. They call me the salesman. <laughs> That's my name. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but he's finally settled down. Huh? You got the right one. I did. She's a good girl. Good. Your parents love each other. You guys all, you know, everybody loves everybody, right? So. Yeah. yeah. We're here with my parents, actually. We just we oh, that's awesome. a hotel bar with them. So. Yeah. Good. They're they're, ta they're tapped out for the night, but now it's your time, right? <laughs> and I wish I could have met them, but uh, they'll be able to see this. This is a reality show called Riding with Lily. Oh yeah, I've been interviewing you guys. Wait, oh, is no this now? Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, that's so cool! Do I have permission to use your story on yeah, the show? Yeah. Is that cool? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's so awesome. I need I need your names again. All right, Danielle. Cam. Danielle. What? Cameron and Danielle. Danielle, okay. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Are you on YouTube or where do we yeah, check it out? Yeah, just scan that code on the back of the show. Oh my God, I'm, I'm about so five much. million subscribers away from me and Joe Rogan. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm oh, kidding. Shit. I'm kidding. That yeah. Means, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean get our that means I need five million subscribers. I'm not that big yet. So that's what you have. To I say love about. couples. I love asking those questions of couples. That's good stuff. So, so no this wow. is a new show called Riding with Willie. Oh my no shit. Sure. So. Yeah, where okay. where were you born and raised? I was born in Georgia. I'm a Georgia Bulldog oh, man. Nice. So I got to ask you one more question. Mm -hmm. I forgot to ask. Best best Buffalo wings. Oh, Bar barbell, yeah. Or barbell, barbell, barbell. So all right, I'm gonna look yeah. it up. Yeah. Barbell, barbell, and Buffalo. We have like how is it spelled? Bar B A R B I L L. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dash B I L L. Make sure. You you make a reservation, or I don't think you can make reservations, but yeah. it's hard to get into. Listen, if I got to make a reservation to get you do it. wings, I'm not going. Oh, no? <laughs> wings are supposed to be like belly up to the it's bar, heavy at PBR. Yeah. I have 
But uh, it's, I'm not going. It's back. all. It, That's people, what he toyed wings. I don't yeah, people hype up <laughs> buffalo wings, but at the end of the day, you drop chicken in a fryer. It's yeah. It's not that's not too hoity really toy for me. Yeah. yeah. You can get decent wings. I'll check it out. If I'm ever there, I'm gonna check it out. He said thanks to Danielle and uh, Cameron. Yeah. But you guys have a great time in Nashville. Thank you so much.